Hi lovelies, how are we going? My name is Tara and I am your personal guide to stepping own power and manifesting everything that it is that you want to manifest after toxic relationships and so I've been really cool to talk about putting yourself first in order to work in the flow of the universe to get what it is that you want for yourself and because so the past two weeks I have really been I've been surrounded by a lot of people coming in that are not putting themselves first and over a duration of time it's caused a lot of resentment and a lot of built up anger inside and so when that happens we're really going against the grain of the universe and there is no possible way that we can manifest everything that is that we want to manifest and so we're what we're doing is we're giving all of our energy energy away. And these people are people that they have a lot of empathy for a lot of people, a lot of compassion, and they just want to heal other people. They just want to give, 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 whether that's to your um, your partner or your ex-partner or just your kids, um, everybody else around you. We have to be putting ourselves first we have to be selfish to a certain extent um before it becomes narcissistic (laughs) um but yeah we need to be putting ourselves first in order to be able to receive magic from the universe um because if we don't we're just we're not in receiving mode and then we just become we over time life just becomes miserable and then it's just kind of like living this life on autopilot when we could be living the best life we could be in the job of our dreams and just loving every single day of it we could be with the most amazing healthy respectful loving relationship possible but if we don't allow that to happen it's not going to happen. So it's all about stepping in our power, saying no, and setting up boundaries. And specifically for people who are in toxic relationships, because my channel is all about people who are in or coming out of toxic relationships, and then trying to figure out how it is that they can become in alignment and manifest their dreams. And so we first really have to become aware of our environment, our situation, and the people we surround ourselves by. It's really asking ourselves, are we really, truly, authentically, genuinely happy in this relationship? And really becoming hyper aware of how it is that you're actually feeling, like how are you actually feeling in this relationship? Are you only staying in this relationship for financial security and believe me I completely understand it's not a bad thing I can it is completely normal to be thinking that way but just know that there is a better life out there for you you are not here to feel miserable you are not put on this earth plane to be feeling the way that you are unless you're living your happiest life right now (laughs) um but getting it takes a lot of courage and strength to be able to leave a toxic relationship and I mean I did it I left my toxic relationship with a four-month-old baby with no job and very little savings and when we put ourselves into that position of jumping into the unknown and just leaving everything it is very scary But when you do that, you end up not having any control of the situation around you because there's nothing to control. It is out of your control. So then the universe can actually do its work. It can do its magic for you and everything will start falling into place. Yes, it will take time. It is a journey, but you have to start. You have to start somewhere. You can't be staying in a relationship unhealthy relationship at that because of a financial situation or 
for your kids. You have to do what's right for you and getting that help, taking those actions and start putting yourself first and asking yourself, how is it that you are feeling? And then once you start becoming really aware of how you're feeling and your environment, the more and more you start becoming aware of things and how they make you feel, whether that's environment, um, friends, partner, family. And then after that, you'll go through a reflective period. I mean, like I'm still reflecting now, three years down the track, but it was a good, a really good two years of just self-reflection because I had to learn from these experiences. If I don't learn from it, then I'm just going to be making the same mistakes. Um, But the one thing that I know I had to do was put myself first because if I'm not putting myself first, then my daughter, my friends, my family, everybody else around me is not going to get the best of me and I'm just going to be walking around being a miserable guts. And so I had to start putting myself first and doing things that it is that I wanted to do. Um, and as I said, to a certain extent, you don't want to push those boundaries of being selfish. But what I'm just saying is you have to start looking after yourself in order to be the best version of you so then you can give to others. But if we're just constantly giving, 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 giving to other people or our partner, then there's nothing left of us. We become miserable. We become eventually we become really resentful and we're full of anger. And so like that's just it's just not serving us. So we have to know when to have boundaries and start putting ourselves first and actually start saying no. And again, it's asking yourself, are you genuinely happy where you are? And when we come out of toxic relationships even like leaving a toxic relationship is really hard because of the trauma bond but from experience I can tell you that leaving such a toxic environment and relationship it was the best thing I could have done for myself and you don't want to be staying in relationships for your kids because your kids they they're going to sense the energy they're going to see it And they're definitely going to be feeling it. Um, Like I just, I know so many people that are just like, I wish they had just broken up. It just would have been so much easier. The environment would have been much better. So you don't want to find yourself staying in relationships for certain reasons. um, Unless, you know, it is a healthy relationship and then it's just kind of like faded out, working maybe getting some kind of like coach is going to help with that um, and ignite the fire back in the relationship. But I'm specifically talking about people who are in toxic relationships or have just come out of them. You definitely, this is the time for you to be putting yourself first. This is the time to um, start feeling like you again. This is, this is a time to be putting yourself first because you're not meant to, like, this isn't your life. This is not where, this is, like, what am I trying to say? (laughs) Um, You're meant for much more than this. This was just, this was a life lesson that you needed to learn. And so now is the time to be aware and reflect on those life lessons. And then, Eventually, over time, things things will start falling into place because you're going to be in alignment. And for people who do struggle to be putting themselves first, just a few moments, like just go for a walk around the block. That is allowing yourself to receive because you're honing in back in your energy and what it is that you need to do for yourself. Going for a walk around that block can do wonders. Um, Start putting your health first about what you're eating. Um, Take a few moments before bed just to prop yourself up and just take a few deep breaths and just sit in silence for five minutes. Put an alarm on your phone so you're not constantly having to check your phone to see how much time you have left. So then you can really just be in that moment, be in that present moment of just bringing in all the energy. 
Um, taking showers is a really great way to relieve all the stress, stressful energies that you have on you. The water will just drain that away. Um, but yeah, I really encourage you to really just start living your best life. Um, because I can only tell you from experience that it, and I'm like from everybody else that I hear from as well, that stepping into the unknown is the best thing you can do for yourself. Yes, it is so scary. And I mean, I literally had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Like zero idea, no idea whatsoever. And over time, like these thoughts just started like occurring in my mind about things that I may have like wanted to dabble in. So I started dabbling in tarot. I started learning, um, um, listening to my intuition and doing mediumship. And now I'm realizing that I'm wanting to coach people. I'm wanting to guide people to their light, to be living their best life because keeping ourselves in toxic relationships, it's not healthy for us. And eventually it's going to be very detrimental to our health. And then we're not able to give to our kids. We're not able to give to our family, to our friends who are deserving of all of that, all of that goodness from us. And we're deserving of that goodness from ourselves. You weren't meant to be put down. You weren't meant to be um, name called. You weren't meant to be gaslighted and manipulated. And when you feel like something is off, that's because it is. <laughs> so we really need to be putting ourselves first and stepping into that unknown because that's where we are we are supported and guided by the universe and like talk to your spirit guides and your angels I think I mentioned this in my last video they cannot interfere unless we ask them to so ask them for guidance ask them to show you the next steps to take but just know that when you do step into that unknown into the darkness not knowing what's around the next corner I've been there done that that is where you are being the most held by the universe and allow your mantra to be everything always works out it always works out even like if you have to go to a women's shelter then that's where you need to be for that moment in time and then it's taking those next steps from there because you're putting yourself first. That's just a stepping stone. That's not where you're going to be living forever. You need to be putting your ego and your pride aside because you can't be having yourself and or your kids in that environment. So if going to like a shelter of some kind is what you need to do in order to put yourself first, then that is what you need to do. That is, that is not forever that is not your life, is a stepping stone to get from A to B and to start living your life at its fullest potential because there is so much magic waiting for you. The universe has so much in store for you. It just needs you to be taking those that, that leap forward into the unknown because that's where everything happens. Um, and like you... Like you will have all the support that you need, whether it's from me. Um, I asked you to join my Facebook group because that's where you can post your questions. You can post anything that is going to help you. And that's where you can find a support system as well. I really want my channel to be, I've just started my channel. Um, so we're, depending when you're watching this, um, I really want this channel to be a real support community for those who have come from toxic relationships, narcissistic relationships, who are wanting to manifest a great life for themselves because it will happen. I promise you, like there is no doubt in my mind, none at all, that greatness is in front of you. Okay, it will happen. You just have to take those next steps. So basically concluding today, you have to be putting yourself first because it's if you don't, it's going against the grain of the universe. Okay, and then once we start taking those steps forward, 
again, it's going into awareness mode. It's taking in your environment, the people around you and asking yourself who is good for you, who is benefiting you, who is, um, so like, who are you like benefiting from? And I don't mean that in a way of like just taking what you can get from that person. I mean, like who is supporting you, who else in like, who is inspiring you just by their day to day? Like really take into account of the people around you and who is bringing you down and who is lifting you up. So really go into awareness mode and how people are making you feel. And then it's going into the reflection mode of what it is that you need to change or where you need to set up boundaries, where you need to not give so much of your time and your energy to people who do not deserve it. Because then we are going with the grain of the universe. And it's making sure that you take into account that you're learning from these life lessons. Because then the then the universe can really give you the opportunities. You just need to be open to receive and actually take action towards those opportunities. So we have to be putting ourselves first in order to actually get somewhere um, in our manifestations of our dreams in order to be happy and not being resentful and not being angry because we're just giving so much to other people and they're not giving back to us okay because we can't make people like you just it just means that you're giving your energy away to the wrong people you can definitely give energy but you have to be receiving it back in some kind of way so just notice where your energy is going and where it's not, and who's deserving of your time and energy, and who isn't, and who's making you feel really great, and who's not, and taking yourselves out of that situation. It will all happen at the at the, like the perfect time. Don't think that you have to just be like cutting people out of your life. It will take time. Things will happen in its own divine timing. A full eight, a full out may happen and then you just realise that you don't really want to be putting as much effort into that relationship and then over time it starts fading away. It doesn't mean you just need to do like a clean cut. If you feel like that you have absolutely at your tail end, then if like that's what you need to be doing, then do that. But don't be staying in relationships where you are not being the best version of you possible, okay? So I'm going to love you and leave you and leave you with that message, but always be putting yourself first um, to a certain extent. (laughs) All right, bye.